My, hey everyone, really welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This, this week brought to you by orange styrofoam that they put in a plastic bag and trick you into thinking that it's candy. It's like 40 bucks. It's definitely better than Rooster Teeth. So much better. I'm gonna lead off with a, with, with a comment. Go ahead. I hate ketchup. Ketchup? 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 Ketchup. Tomato ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup? Tomato ketchup. Non-tomato ketchup? Interesting. Fucking 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 fucking. If you guys want to uh, ask us a question or take part in the podcast, and you're watching this live on first, then just tweet us using the hashtag Tom Tomatillo Japan. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Gavin and I went this weekend to the Ghostbusters premiere, and I would just see what I could get away with this at this point. Like I'd go into like major Hollywood studios and say, "Boom! I gotta make potatoes." Two seconds later, I was getting ripped apart by dogs. Really funny, but awful. Don't ever do it. If you had to choose between blasting Bethany or a shaved bear, whomever, like Jack, yeah, I, I'm, I'm comfortable admitting that. I got something to read. Uh, Remind everyone, this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by my dick, which for some reason is also banana flavor. Yes, it's 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 lacking. It's probably about probably a foot square. Yeah, and it looked like it looked ridiculous when I got in there. It lifted off the ground and flopped over. I mean, literally, I've never seen that before. It, that it did that. It's flappy. That's right, baby. I used to work at a Burger King, and when there was downtime, we would just rob people in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. The socializing you do because of it, I think, is a big selling point. Is that sad? Yeah. 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 That makes sense to me. So Gavin and I will be going to take a trip to the Peanut Factory for the premiere of Laser Team. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, that movie was incredible. It hit number one in the box office all time. It cost like a billion dollars to make or something like that, or $500 million right. to make. And uh, it just made like $35 million every fucking weekend for like half a year straight. Yeah. That all sounds like bullshit to me. All the, all, it's getting good reviews. No. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck was that? The fuck was that? <laughs> Awful. I agree, but fucking weird, dude. Did you see this? Oh, I hate it. Horrible. <laughs> I'm not a fan. 